Right, so making my way today down to Tootin. We're going to hit Crazy Farms. We've had some bad news recently about the shop. They're closing their physical store. They're going to remain online only. But it's one of the shops I've always wanted to visit. Just never got my ass into gear. However, now more than ever, I need to do so. They're closing on the 7th of April, I believe. So I'm going to head down there as well. Uh, I'll hit this local CEX as well while I'm down there. That'll be for another future video. But yeah, I'll see you guys in Tootin. Right, so here we are in Tootin at Crazy Fums. Now this shop's got a huge reputation online and amongst the gaming retro community. So I've really been looking forward to getting down there. And I'll tell you what, you get straight to the window and if you like your Pokemon and your cards, that type of thing, not my cup of tea, but these guys, they've got you covered. Look at this. Now I have to admit, I am denied plenty of times about that Sega Saturn there box. It's one of the consoles I really want. I've got most of what I want, but a Saturn I'd like to get back in the collection. Anyway, here's a small overview of the shop, and there is Josh behind the counter. And may I just take the time to say um, how welcoming Josh was. A real asset to the shop. Um, really enjoyed talking to him. And uh, if the owner of the shop is watching, give the guy a pay rise. <laughs> no, in all honesty, Josh, thanks for your hospitality. And um, yeah, it was great there. And I hope to see you again soon. We've got a very, very solid switch selection here. And one of the good things about this shop is um, they cater for practically everything. You know, so the modern consoles, um, they don't leave them out and only have uh, certain games and that. They really do have a great selection on uh, the current gen stuff. It's always nice to see a solid PSP section in any game shop you go. Unfortunately, quite a small selection of Vita stuff here, but that seems to be the case everywhere you go. Really big um, selection of PlayStation 2 stuff here. And nice to see some Japanese stuff there as well. There was a couple of Japanese titles I was interested in picking up. However, unfortunately, I don't have the means to play them currently. That's something I'm gonna be looking into at some point in the near future. And one of the things I will say about independent game shops compared to um, your average CEX, the quality of the games that they seem to have are always better. They seem to source games that are a lot cleaner um, than CEX do. CEX seem to take stuff and I don't know, I'm guessing that the staff there are not obligated to clean them up or anything like that. Um, but I'm guessing a shop like this, an independent, even if they do take a game and it's not in the greatest of condition, before they put it on their shelves, I'm guessing that they do clean it up because it looks a lot better and more um, enticing to purchase. Pretty small section of um, PS3 stuff there. No essentials there for all the people that are collecting the essentials right now and there's a lot of them out there. Now, not my cup of tea here, but I do like your big box PC stuff. I think it looks great, and it's kind of something that, you know, I'd like to have on display. Um, but yeah, I've never been a PC gamer, but I do love the big, uh, big box stuff. It kind of takes me back to those days um, when I was buying games um, on the 8-bit computers and then progressing to the 16-bit computers. 
we might have seen uh, Rise of the Robots there. It's an absolutely beautiful box. I, I love the artwork. It's just a, such a shame. It's an absolute travesty of a game. Now look at that there. I think that's on the Amiga. Classic Paul Gascoigne. Some great Commodore bits there as well. Really took me back having a quick flick through the Commodore section. It's nice to see that sort of stuff catered for as well. I mean, look, we've even got Philips CDI games here, you know, and you don't see them out very often. Got some Intellivision stuff here. Now, I'm not an Intellivision fan, but I do love the boxes. Uh, and the artwork, I say, I think they look great, very nostalgic. But uh, yeah, in terms of the games, I've never really um, enjoyed in television. Really good section there with the Saturn games, some Japanese Saturn stuff as well. Now, as I say, this shop is fantastic. Um, I had such a great time browsing through everything, and one of the Good bits of news that I've got is that you might have heard me at the beginning of the video um, say that Crazy Thumbs is closing down on the 7th of April. Now the good news is, speaking to Josh, the staff member there, he informed me that it's nothing to do with financials or anything like that. It's more a case they've got uh, a landlord issue um, that they're currently held at gridlock with. You know, they've just had a bit of a dispute and for that reason, they're going to be looking to move on and hopefully obtain a new property pretty soon so they can set up shop again. In the meantime, they will be just um, selling online. Now, I am very, very keen to see where they go and I will make a point of heading down to their new shop. So good luck with that venture, guys. I hope it works out. So I've got a Dreamcast um, en route to me at the moment. Thanks DHL for taking so long. And uh, I picked up Choo Choo Rocket today, um, just as a tester, see how it goes. I'm not gonna um, buy any big hitters or anything on that system just yet, just in case it doesn't work and I have to send it back, etc., etc. Now that's a great price, I think, for the original Duke Xbox controller. I'm not a fan but I know they do have their fans out there, these control pads, you know, to the point where people are making replicas. I think it's a Hyperkin one. Now these, in my opinion, I was really looking forward to seeing these uh, glass cabinets because I've seen them on so many other YouTube videos um, where all the sort of rare treasures seem to be. And seeing it in person was no disappointment. They have got some fantastic items, some obscure items. Um, not just obscure, but popular and desirable items as well. And no worries about buying the American cartridges. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, NTSC stuff. They've got you covered. There's converters there that you can take home and play on your original hardware as well. Now, I think it's some uh, really reasonable prices on all of these Super Nintendo games. Now, of course, you've got your box stuff as well and your rare stuff. And of course, the prices are going to be high on them, but that's for the current market. So, of course, uh, a shop like this is obviously going to be selling them at that rate, understandably so. But you can find some really good deals in here. Now those boxes for the N64s, they were almost mint. Great condition, and that's amazing for a console that's what, nearly 30 years old or so. Very good condition OG Xbox there as well. 
I mean, look, an Atari Jaguar, high price tag, and understandably so, it's not often you see them around. But it's in great condition. Now that is a blast to the past, a caveman, the grandstand handheld game. Um, that was a great time. I used to love those sort of obscure games. Now look at that, a lovely ZX Spectrum there. I was very tempted to uh, whip the credit card out for that one. There's a real heavy hitter there, R-Type DX on the Game Boy Color. I mean, you name it, these guys have got it. And like I've said on multiple occasions, every single item that's on display in this shop is in amazing condition. There's Caveman once again. Uh, $49.99, I really, really was thinking about picking that one up to stick on the shelf. Kind of got a bit of buyer's regret about not picking that one up today. And who can remember that um, Sinclair Spectrum light gun? At 9 dollars I thought that was great value. I've got nowhere to put it. Um, nostalgia did make me think about it. But I've just got nowhere to really display it. So it would have been kind of a pointless purchase for myself on the day. I mean, just looking at all these joysticks as well really takes me back to the days where... Um, You'd, you'd be playing games like Daily Thompson's Decathlon and knackering your joysticks out and probably having to go out and buy a new one the following week or, or whenever your parents would allow you to get one. Now I really like that um, Neo Geo Pocket there, the uh, blue one, and I think that's a really good price at £99. I'm not a huge fan of the games on the Pocket, so it's not something I'm looking for. But, you know, as a display piece, it, it's really, really nice. Outrun uh, Europa there. I remember that one coming out. Um, I think it got some poor reviews back in the day. And an absolute stack of NES games here. Classic uh, Mega Drive arcade power stick there. And look, the famous Gizmondo. Now, I'm not going to go into details on what I was told about this uh, console. But yeah, look it up. The origins of how that Gizmondo actually came to be. I was absolutely shocked um, at the story I was told about how that console was funded. Amazing story. Um, but yeah, the Gizmondo. Now, the last video I watched um, of this shop, they had two Gizmondos in. I only saw one today, so, yes, yeah, someone's purchased one. Now, whilst in here, it'd be rude not to check out the Wii section, as Wii is something I'm collecting for. To be honest, though, whilst they had a good selection of games, there was nothing really that I was personally looking for. Um, but yeah, still, nevertheless, a good selection of the Wii stuff, and um, probably a little bit less shovelware than you see in your average CEX. Same with a 360, very well represented in there. Got all the games you would expect. But with the system being one that I actively collect for, 
Um, probably most of the stuff there I'd already got. Similar to the Wii U as well, I'm collecting for that. And um, there wasn't anything that I want or need for the system on the day. I keep saying I'm not gonna go for a full set on the Wii U, which is why I'm probably ignoring some of the uh, lesser known titles, um, or rather ones I'm just not interested in. So let's head over and have a look at the modern stuff on your Xbox. And again, like I said with the Switch, very, very well represented in here. No discrimination against your modern gamers within these four walls. Now I've, I've recently started picking up a few more bits on this system and the PS5 where possible. Um, I stopped by for a while due to the subscription services available, but I'm really debating whether or not I'm gonna be uh, keeping those services moving forward as I'm not 100% sure I get the value out of them. So yeah, and as I've mentioned in a couple of my videos, I'm not really a fan of the way uh, the big game executives are talking about how you know whether or not you own your games or not so with that in mind i'm sort of leaning towards picking up the stuff physically where possible but only for games that i really really want on these systems got resident evil 4 there at 29 at 99 i think that's a good price and a lovely street fighter 6 there at $24.99. I think that's a great deal. Now, on my way out, I almost missed this section, so I had to quickly film it. Nice selection of Atari cartridges there, and then as we see there, your Commodore and your Sinclair type games on cassette and your Amstrad stuff. Now, this really took me back. I was an Amstrad kid, and um, yeah, this is how we used to do it, kids. This is how we bought our games on cassette. So what with it being an end of a month, um, financially I wasn't near to buy much unless I used a credit card. So pickups today, not too uh, serious, but nevertheless, I still had to pick something up on the day. And um, I definitely will be checking the shop out moving forward once they manage to uh, obtain a new location. Unfortunately, I've not been able to play a Choo Choo Rocket yet due to a DHL and their lovely delivery service. Well, anyway, guys, that was Crazy Thumbs in two in. They're open till the 7th of April, physically 2024. So if you're seeing this video, try and get down there. You've got a few days. It's an absolutely fantastic shop. And um, even if you're just browsing, you will come away with um, a good day out. But I assure you, I think you'll be buying something. Um, in the meantime, I'd just like to say thanks to the staff on the day. Josh, once again, I really enjoyed your company. It was great having a chat with you. And uh, if you like this video, guys, check the rest out. Give us a sub and I'll see you next time.